It's game theory. No, fuck guys. But we have a game theory problem. Kind of, not really. It's mostly common occurs. All right. So you get. In how many ways can we move from A to B if we can only move up? or to the right and we cannot move through this box here and one move is obviously like one one square yeah okay so how do we do this okay let's just start with the simpler case D don't don't think about this okay so we'll just if this wasn't here in how many ways could we move from A to B? How many different paths can we take? So, what is this? Okay, we can we can start by thinking thinking like this. Okay, in total we have to move one, two, three, four, five steps to the right and one, two, three, four, five steps upwards. Okay, so we know we have to move 10 steps in total. And we cannot move backwards or downwards. So we can only move in like this, this sort of way. So what, what really is this? Well, you can think about it like okay we have to make 10 steps and we have to move five to the right and five upwards and the order is what makes the different paths right and can we construct the same path with different orders of action well no of course not so, okay, so now we have to move five steps to the right, five steps upwards. And the order is what makes the difference between the, what makes a specific path is the order in which, so for example, you can take right upwards, right, 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 because we, we disregard this block thing, right, upward, upward, right, upward, upward. So that move pattern would, for example, it would look like you can think about this as some kind of code. So we have we have right, upward, right, 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 up, and I then I move upwards, upwards, right, upwards, upwards. So and yeah, and here we have five R's and five U's. So the question then is, how in how many ways can we arrange five R's and five U's? And there is no difference between two R's and it doesn't matter in which we choose first or anything. It's just pure combinations. So if you know your combinatorics, this is 10 over 5 which is 10 factorial times 10 minus five factorial. So that's five factorial times five factorial. And this happens to be two hundred and 52. Okay, so that's good. We know that there are there is a limited amount of possible paths that we can take disregarding the uh, the box that we can't move through. So we we can guess that we have to like use this number and then subtract some other thing. Um so the, the best way is just well, I just said it. We, we have to subtract something. What is this something? This something is in how many ways we can reach B from A and move through the box. 
because you can move through the box or you can not move through the box. It's very, very much binary. Um, so in how many ways can we get from uh, A to B when moving through the box? Well, we can just split this into two problems. We have in how many ways can we move from A to the box? Because we can't have to do with that order. We can't move. We can't do A, B, box. We have to do A, box, B. So uh, we just have to find out how many ways we can move from A to the box and then multiply that with how many ways we can move from the box to B. So now we have kind of the same thing here. Okay, from A to the box, we have to move one, two, three, four steps to the right and one step upward. And from the box to B, we have to move one step to the right and four steps upward. So it's essentially just the same thing here, except there's a small, small difference, which mathematically doesn't um, change anything, but it's good to have in mind. So when doing this, okay, so now we instead, for example, we want a sequence of four rights and one up. So think about this. Roar. In how many ways can we arrange four R's and one U? Well, you can either, either think of this as, okay, in how many ways can we arrange four R's in five places? Or you can think of it in how many, many ways can we ar arrange the U in the five places and the rest will just be R's. And as a matter of fact, these are the same. Because the first thing I said, when already picking the R's, that's 5 over 4. But when picking the U's, we get uh, 5, 5 over 1. And these are actually the same. So that's uh, just a good thing to think about. It doesn't matter which part you focus on as long as there's only two then it doesn't make any doesn't make any difference so here yeah moving from a to to this thing we can have we have five over one or five over four it's the same thing moves uh, and we'll just calculate that real quick so five over four and that is just five five over one is easier to think about this is just, again, how many ways can we put one thing in five holes? Well, there's five holes, so well, five ways. Um, and from uh, and from the box to B, well, it's the same thing. It's just instead of this, we have the opposite. And the amount of combinations is exactly the same. So we just have five. And so there's five ways to get from A to the box, and there are five ways to get from the box to B. And that so there are 25 ways we can move through the box if the box wasn't there. So now, what do we have now? Okay, we have 252 possible paths. And then, to get how many paths where we don't move through the box, we just subtract how many paths where we did move through the box. And that was, as we said, 25. And this is equal to 227. So that is the correct answer. So yeah, that was uh, all, through, all, all, all for me. Yeah. Hope you like the problem. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell and all that shit. So uh yeah, you like Jan.